Hello popcorn junkies. Um, I, I I felt I had to drop this trailer in your lap. Um, I caught this at the cinema a couple of weeks ago and I was agog. I was flummoxed, staggered, amazed and I was laughing too. I think it was when I saw Immaculate, the Sydney Sweeney film. This is a film called Abigail and uh, Abigail is an upcoming Universal Pictures film. It actually sits within that Universal Pictures Monsters franchise, you know, the sort of reboot of The Invisible Man. They're doing the reboot of Frankenstein, I think even Renfield. Is it Renfield, the uh, the film about Dracula's assistant? I think The Wolfman is coming. I think The Mummy is coming. Anyway, but Abigail is essentially a modern reversioning of Dracula's Daughter, the 1936 movie. Now. Why did this ping out from the cinema screen? Why was I like, what the fuck is this shit? We have a toddler. I am pathologically scared of toddlers. I find toddlers en masse creepy. Their fingers are usually covered in germs. They often have bogeys. They often kind of have a sociopathic desire to ask all the kind of questions that no one would ra rationally or reasonably ask of anyone else. And they do it in a way that's quite cruel. They're unaware of the world. They use a minimum of words to establish what they want and they throw total violent strops when they don't get it. If I go into a pub in Chattering Dulwich or Islington or Shoreditch, there's little Johnny or little kind of Tarquin climbing up the bar, crawling over the top of a, uh, you know, someone's Sunday roast in the pub. And there are the parents going, hey, look, a little Tarquin, is little Tarquin lovely? Toddlers annoy me. They scare me. And as I say en masse, they're creepy. I think a sort of um, Shaun of the Dead needs to be done in, set in a kindergarten where it's just toddlers. I think that would be a good horror film. Anyway, so bearing that in mind, this is called Abigail. And there is a psychopathic, sharp-toothed, fanged, monstrous ballerina pirouetting doing whatever else they do, what are the other things, pirouettes and do -si dos and all that malarkey, with a pair of gnashes. So this is about a psychopathic child ballerina. This stars Melissa Barrera. We have a huge amount of time for Melissa Barrera. She was obviously fired from the Scream franchise for, I don't know, predicting and seeing and anticipating the genocidal atrocities of the Israeli assault on Gaza. Collective punishment. Punishment and all the rest of it. You know, isn't it funny how now we can possibly look back across these six months and go, oh, well, maybe people could see this before all the leaders can see it and all the governments can see it. So anyway, Melissa Barrera, one of the first people to come out quite publicly and quite bravely in support of Palestine. Um, it also stars, or a part of the cast is Angus Cloud, the late Angus Cloud. You'll know him. He was the actor who tragically died. Uh, he was in Euphoria. He played Fezco. A fabulous young actor. So so he's in this too. So on that note, let's watch this ballerina madness. I'm trying to think of what other sort of, you know, antecedents we have of ballerina dancey kind of horror. And I think the most obvious one was the remake of Suspiria, you know, set within a dance school. So get ready for a pirouetting, psychotic, gnashing, savage, vampiric little toddler in a tutu. Tutu trauma. That's what we're going to be dealing with here. Oh. Please let me out. I'm scared. Don't let me Got out. the shit. You're really good at pretending to be a little girl. Thank you. Quick question. Who's inside a cage right now? What do we know about vampires? How do we kill it? Crucifixes. Stake through the heart. Daylight is a big one. We need to find a way out of here. We split up. This is just a game to her. What can I say? I like playing with my son. Hello. What can I say? I like playing with myself. My God, I mean, that has 
absolutely the right ingredients to be a reversioning and a, a sort of reimagining of the same ingredients that went into Megan, that strange comedic horror. This is clearly pitched comedically. She's vicious and nasty. I think the girl might have been in Matilda, which in and of itself is a scary, scary prospect. Um, she might be a bit of a, I think her brother might be Tarquin. Um, in a tutu, bloodstained tutu, nasty teeth, savage, savaging them, but doing the, is it the plie and then the, then the something else and that, what are all the moves? She, she's doing a sort of plie and a, she dances and stretches and stretches her legs. It's like Megan's curious dance down the corridor. Clearly she bucks the trend when it comes to crucifixes and all the other normal ways that you get rid of vampires and that's got to be a good thing. It's always good when a vampire movie goes, none of those old tricks work, matey flip. This is a different kind of vampire. So all in all, I have to say, I think a toddler in a tutu with gnashes, it's got to be seen. We've got to do it. We've got to do it. This could be, I think this could be the sleeper hit of the year.